tonight on this Boxing Day departure lounge are Alison Klasky from County Durham, Liz Walker from County Down, Warren Lipman from Hertfordshire, Pamela Jeffrey from London, Helen Lacey from Devon, Paul Fenley from Yorkshire, Mike DeMant from Tyne and Weir, Jolene Dingella from Gwent, and Brian Duran from Merseyside. Nine contestants, but only six can go through to Saturday's National Lottery Jet Set. Live from the BBC Television Centre in London, it's the Jet Set Departure Lounge with the midweek National Lottery Draw and Lottery Extra. Here's the man with your Boxing Day ticket to ride, Eamon Holmes. Thank you, thank you very much indeed. Happy Boxing Day. If you didn't get what you wanted for Christmas, maybe all that could change because we've got those two lottery draws coming up. And for some of our contestants, it's still going to be a great Christmas because they can win through to Jet Set. That's this Saturday night. That, of course, gives them the chance of winning a week living the luxury life of the rich and the famous, which is what our current winners are doing right now. They are in Val d'Isere. Hello, Stuart and Liz. Did you have a white Christmas? Hi, Hi Amen. We've had a lovely white Christmas, and the result of Val d'Isere is superb. Well, you and Mum are very happy, but Santa's been very good to you, Stuart. Yes, Amen. On Monday, I had a bit of a surprise, you could say, because Santa flew in a special present for me. And here she is, my beautiful wife, especially for Christmas. Thank Hi, you. Amen. Thanks for flying me in. <laughs> Susan, my pleasure. How was Christmas Day for you all? We were up nice and early and opened up our Christmas presents. Then we went and did some ice skating and we some thought, tobogganing. We thought we were tall and Dean. <laughs> <laughs> we did some tobogganing. And then last night we had a fantastic dinner and uh, we didn't wash a pot all night. Superb. <laughs> and for a chef, needless to say, that must have been fantastic. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas. I'm sure you will. See you Saturday. Bye, Bye amen. amen. See you Saturday. Well. Could it be you living that life? Just get a pen and paper handy. I'll give you the number to call very shortly if you think you've got what it takes to be on the jet set. We have the very best prize on offer. It's no wonder this bunch here want to win it. But first, six of them have got to get through to Saturday's show. To do that, they've got to answer three questions, get one right, they light a light, and then they get to choose the next category. But if they get it wrong, they'll be frozen out off the next question. Three lights, and they have booked their seat for Saturday night's jet set. Here are tonight's categories. The computer will select the first one, which is... Politics. Let's play. Who was the first female speaker of the House of Commons? Mike? Betty Boothroy. You've got a light straight away, Mike. Give me a subject. Sport. It is for everyone. With which sport would you associate Jensen Button? <laughs> Brian in there. Formula One motor racing. OK, you're on, in pole position there. One light. Give me a category. Geography. For everyone, on which river is Paris situated? <laughs> and that's Mike again. Same. You've got your second light, Mike. One away from Saturday night. What's it to be? Geography. Which UK island has a flag with three legs <laughs> on it, Mike? Isle of Man. We'll get you somewhere more exotic than that, maybe. See you Saturday. And Mike has now left the departure lounge, checked in for Saturday's Jet Set. Computer, give us the next category. It is sport for everyone. What colour is the cue ball in <laughs> Brian? White. In pool, I was going to ask. You've got your second light. Category? Music, please. Which type of music is Ella Fitzgerald <laughs> famous for? That's Warren. Jazz music. You've got a light, Warren. Give me a category. Film, please. Which actress starred in The Colour Purple ah! and Warren? Whoopi Goldberg. Two lights and Sister Act was the second one. What's your subject? Film again, please. This is open to all. In the series of films, who starred as Rocky? Ah! Warren. Sylvester Stallone. Knockout punch. See you Saturday. <laughs> so Warren joins Mike. Two contestants through to Jet Set. The category now is... Food and drink, open to all. What type of spirit is bourbon? Ah! It is Pamela. Whiskey. Yeah, you know your drinks, you've got a light. Category. Politics, please. Who became Britain's Prime Minister in 1979? Ah! Brian. Margaret Thatcher. You're there on Saturday, Brian. <laughs> right, that's three more places up for grabs. The category is film. Which Scott played Gaz in The Full Monty? Ah! Alison. Robert Carlyle. You've got a light, Alison. Give me a subject. Uh, music. 
Who composed the ballet Swan Lake? <laughs> Pamela. Tchaikovsky. That's your second like, Pamela. You're one away from Saturday. What's it to be? Food and drink. For everyone, which English town is mint cake associated <laughs> with Alison? Kendall. Now on two lights, Alison. What's your category? Music. Which musician's nickname is Slow Hand? <laughs> Alison. Eric Clapton. You've got that one. I'm not sure why it is Slow Hand, but you're on the fast lane, the fast route to Saturday night. <laughs> the computer tells us the next category is geography. In which city would you find St. Mark's Basilica? <laughs> Pamela. Rome. Venice, Pamela, frozen out. We stay with geography. What is the largest country in South America? <laughs> Paul. Brazil. Is right. You've got a light, Paul. Give me a subject. Sport, please. In which game would you use the term checkmate? <laughs> Helen. Chess. You've got a light, Helen. What's your category? Um, film, please. Which actor starred in Phenomenon and Face Off? <laughs> Helen. See his Walter. face, John Travolta, just out of time, you're frozen out. <laughs> Film. Who directed E.T.? <laughs> Paul. Steven Spielberg. Two lights, Paul. What's your category? Sport, please. Open to everyone. Which gambling game is named after the French for small wheel? <laughs> Paul. Roulette. See you Saturday, Paul. Well done. That just leaves the one seat up for grabs. Computer, what is the next category? It is politics. What is the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, usually <laughs> Pamela? NATO. You've got that final place, Pamela. That's our lineup then for Saturday's show. One of those players could win a dream week of absolute luxury living. Now, grab that pen and paper if you fancy luxuriating in exotic locations because we want to hear from you. 0900 111 461. Please do give us a call. It could be the best present you give yourself this Christmas. Give us a ring. But right now, here is a chance to win a whole new life tonight because here is the midweek national lottery draw and lottery extra. Christmas ball master is John Willen. John, please release those Christmas balls for tonight's National Lottery draw. Yeah, it's Boxing Night, just before 8 o'clock. You're watching the Jet Set Departure Lounge live on BBC One and now Radio 5 Live as well. On Saturday, four ticket holders shared the £5.9 million jackpot. Good luck to you tonight. Eamon. And happy Christmas to you, Alan. Oh. The estimated prize fund in the National Lottery draw, £10.2 million. That gives us an estimated jackpot of 3.2. Here we go. Good luck. And a happy new year to you, Eamon Holmes. Here we go then with tonight's draw. The first one is about to appear from the machine. Let's check it out. It is, in fact, number 36. It dropped from the old windfall Wurlitzer a couple of Wednesdays on the trot, recently. 88 times in all now. Next is number 17. Bonus five Wednesdays back, 86 times. We've seen it now in the National Lottery. Here's the third one. And that's 29. Grace just with its presence a couple of Wednesdays on the trot as well. That one, 74th time as main ball. Let's have a fourth one. And that's 37. Last it was five weekends ago. 85th time out for that one. And here's the fifth. 26, that one is. Last draw all of four weekends ago, 86th time we've seen that one. And then to complete the set, here's the sixth one. And that's number 10. In the 694, over £10.7 billion pounds has been raised for those good causes. If you need a bonus, we've got one of those for you too. It is number 16. The winning numbers this boxing night in ascending order are number 10, number 17, number 26, Number 29, number 36, and number 37. And the bonus is 16. Amen. Yes, that all-important bonus. Uh, we move on with another chance to win. Here's Lottery Extra.
So once again, we ask John to release those balls for tonight's extra draw. On the other side of the machine to John is Sean Fleet, our independent adjudicator. No winner at the Lottery Extra Jackpot of the weekend, by the way, so guess what? The amount you can win has gone up again. Let's find out how much it is that's up for grabs from Eamon. Yes, and it has gone up to £6 million. Pounds. Lottery Extra members played for one big jackpot of nobody matches. All six numbers drawn tonight. That total will keep growing. So, here we go. Good luck to you once again. For tonight's Lottery Extra, we're using Guinevere and set of extra balls number one, chosen by Philio Chance from London. Here's the first one. That's 41. If you're still not sussed out this game, you need all six numbers to have a stake in that £6 million jackpot. Here's the next number. 34. There's no winner tonight, but a bigger jackpot for you on Saturday night. Here's the next. 33. Lottery Extra, the game we play for a jackpot only. No smaller prizes along the way, just one big jackpot. 29. You're watching tonight's Lottery Extra draw live on BBC One. Here's the fifth number. Number five. You've got to match all six numbers to win. This one, this last one, has to be in your selection. It is number 19. Now tonight's Lottery Extra numbers in ascending order. Number five. Number 19. Number 29. Number 33. Number 34. And number 41. Mr. Holmes. Just time to tell you, please do join us an earlier time Saturday night, 7.35, when one of these six folk will be taking on Stuart Scott, live from Val d'Isere. They have all booked their seats for the jet set. Please book yours too to avoid disappointment. Bye-bye.